All right, everybody, welcome to the next game I'll be doing after SpongeBob SquarePants. The obvious game to go to after SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated, longest game name in the world. Right after that game, right into Dark Souls. I don't know if there's a better game to segue into after SpongeBob than Dark Souls Remastered. All right, let's start making our way towards our first boss. Which is the old asylum demon. Sometimes it looks like you have line of sight, but the game's like, no. And then you just, you just lose your lock on. Man, I need to like, I need to speed up my roll. I don't even know how to do a plunging attack. I don't even remember. The, there was like, there was a nice tutorial message that I conveniently ignored, but it's fine. If you do the plunging attack, he loses like seriously half of his freaking health so it's it's really good to do that and then other than that it's just kind of kite around him and slap him in his butt give me the butt show me the butt show me the big butt and this boss really has like no health this boss just gets like absolutely smelted you don't even have like I can just be pretty safe and slow and it's kind of like whatever Big Pilgrim's Key. Uh, so I'm probably gonna do like the one of the death runs I do here. This skeleton area is like terrible. These skeletons, you do no damage to these idiots right now. Maybe if you're magic or maybe if you have a specific weapon, but like they're really tanky and they just, they don't really care. So I'm gonna try to zip through this cemetery, real lickety split and just pick up like any items I can find. I'm probably like, I probably backed myself into a corner here, which wasn't the smartest, but. This is this is why it's a, a nice death run, you know? Ooh, ouch. How do I even use Estus? There we go. Surprised I didn't die there, but you know. <laughs> Lucky, that's my, that's my luck for the rest of the year. Nice wing spear, a nice slap to my ass, thank you. I do be loving when skeletons slap my ass, that's for sure. Uh, I'm probably gonna try to reset this, come back and grab that one item. Holy shit, that was close. I think there's another item that's pretty close by, but I've aggroed like the whole cemetery at this point, so. So far, we haven't had a lot of action yet. Uh, I, I guess I've been kind of taking, taking my time with maneuvering out of this beginning area. I'm sorry if it's been a little bit boring, but it'll it'll pick up. Trust me, it's gonna it's gonna pick up a little bit at least. Oh, that's probably the level up. Don't can up. Oh. These drakes, I, all of this is kind of like mid end game stuff. Like this stuff will probably kill me in like one or two hits. There's also like this whole area over here. I forgot about this area. I don't think it's gonna. I don't. I don't think I'm gonna have like crazy issues with it, but. I think definitely some stuff will give me issues, like, I guess it's not really a first death anymore because I've already died. But if I can avoid dying here to some stupid garbage, then <laughs> like, why not? There eventually. I was afraid that was going to be a little bit of an early jump, but I feel like, I feel like using one right now. Don't do this to me. Oh, speaking of another place to explore. We got this place. I also love backstabbing. Items to get. It's good stuff. I don't think it was anything like... I don't... Try and pull a couple of these guys away from the pack. Oh, this spear's like kind of nice, actually. It's got some nice, some nice poking power. Reading a lot of information about the game. Which probably helped my general knowledge. Oh, where'd this guy come from? I didn't even, <laughs> I didn't even see that guy. Now I'm able to kind of swap character, or swap enemies a little bit better. I don't know what was wrong earlier. It's all good.
I gotta say. Holy shit! I didn't know he was gonna make that much distance. Alright, definite safety heal. It wasn't it wasn't even like crazy safe. It wasn't even like a crazy It's the power of the oh hold on, it's the the power of the foot. There we go. <laughs> couldn't get couldn't get the kick to come out. I got a I got a spear jab to come out. Power of the foot, the power of the poke. We've got a lot of power today. What did I call it? It was like poking power TM earlier. Like poking power. Here. They're just kind of like unintended spots you can just kind of get to. Probably not a good idea to throw my back on the nade tossers. Okay, that guy just decided to fall. He's not dead, but is there actually an item over there? I don't remember. Are a little bit weak to it. It was pretty nice. Definitely not intended to give you a little bit of help with any of the bosses, right? Nope. I don't know. Sometimes I say stuff and I it just sounds so like dry and serious. I, it feels like pe even even if I try to have like a sarcastic tone about it, it it really feels like I just come off as like serious about stuff sometimes. Not sure if I have enough time to like use this gold pine resin. He he takes a little while to get up here, so maybe I do. No, stay down. All right, cool. Oh, I'm getting I'm getting stepped on by him. It's not very good. Kind of kind of want a safety heal, but oh, he's getting like smelted. Oh my god, <laughs> just spam right bumper on him. My goodness. All right, well, that's that boss. Maybe I want to wait till Andre. At least I think his name's Andre. We got to go talk to Andre the Giant. And power of the foot, power of the poke. And we repeat it. Power of the foot, power of the poke. Bam. I mean, there's going to be some enemies that I miss here and there anyway. Uh, just because I forget or actually don't know where stuff is, but... These are back. And I use this area to, like... Oh, my God. This isn't good. There we go. That was better. A little, little lucky there. It's fine. Oh, come on. Really? I don't want to have the enemies on me the whole time. And... Oh, you don't even give me a chance to get up here. Come on. This is black. I was about to fight him and then just... I was like, oh, can you get down to that one area? Is there an item down there? Oh, really? Come on. There we go. Nice double hit. Get out of here. The power of the foot. Bam. Also, a safety heal might be really good. This, this enemy... I, could, I might die to him. He does he does slap a little hard early on. Um, for people who are good at the game and good at parrying, he's not too hard to parry, but I'm not exactly the greatest at parrying, so I guess we'll see how this works. I might just try to, like, shield it up and just do my safety kind of backstab thing. Usually, usually I just try to bait out attacks and then backstab him a couple times. Maybe pop him once as he gets up, but... Oh, that was arrogant. What are you, Mario? Alright, go into his... Go into his shield, his shield side is probably going to be the safest. Sometimes he does do his little disengage, and he does keep doing attacks that aren't really good for trying to circle straight backstab, but this is probably one of the safest ways to kind of deal with him. Uh, if you mess up the parry, he probably will kill you in, like, one combo or a couple hits. I think this is probably one of the weakest Black Knights in the game, just because he's so early, but he can, uh, he can still catch you off guard. He can still do some damage, combo you up. So. Good to be safe, but he's done so. so. Oh, I got a Black Knight shield out of that? 
There's like that idiot. There's oh god, I didn't. Oh come on, yeah, like <laughs> I wanted to attack this guy, not the other guy, but this guy's just like annoying. Can you like fuck off? Fuck him. Wherever he went, I hope he's having a good time. The thing about the spear, the spear, like, it's good for some things, but other times it's just, like, a little bit more room to maneuver. The unfortunate thing is, is that I have, like, no Estus, so. I have no Estus. I've, I've won. I guess I lied. One is like none. It's not none, but it's like none, you know? It's not a high amount, I'll say that. Ooh, Hollow Soldier Helm? I don't think that's going to be better, but... You're probably also supposed to use the skulls, maybe? Like, maybe if you toss the skull, it would just distract it the whole time, and you could just wail on them? I don't think I've ever really tried that. It, I guess that is, like, a way to do it. it. It didn't work for very long, but it did let me get, like, a hit or so in. I already see my shield dropping randomly. Sorry, where he's dead. Drop any items? I know he has a. I really hope they don't follow me in here because that's gonna be like a fucking shit show if they do. Oh, oh, they're following. Oh, they're following. Ugh, get out of here. At least one of them. No, they all do follow. They are. They are all following me. Normally, I don't like running past stuff. Like, even if I've cleared an area, usually I like fighting stuff, so... Probably not gonna be running past stuff. Uh, unfortunately, with any game, especially Souls games, I don't think it's gonna go very well. I think this is, like, the parry enemy. This enemy's annoying. Eventually, he tries to parry you. Yeah, he's, like, trying to parry me now. The fucking jerk. If he parries me, I probably won't die in one hit, but it's 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 definitely not ideal. Oh no. Oh, where was the backstab? Oh, it doesn't matter. Safe to heal. Like one of them over to me, that that's pretty good. I shouldn't have detargeted. That was a bad idea. The power of the foot. The power of the poke. Yeah, there you go. How do you like that? Oh, I didn't repost, damn it. I needed to be closer. You wanna try it again? Oh yeah, there you go. I, I I gave you the invite and everything and you took it, so that's what you get. There's like a, a really important item. Oh shit. I had no clue this guy was even mad at me. What did I do? How did it, why was he so mad at me from the church? So I finally got a backstab. It's kind of like, I don't know, usually you get keys, like very important keys from I don't know, an NPC or like more specifically maybe a boss fight. So to me it's just kind of weird that it's just kind of like chilling out on the ground. Are oh, you still not dead? I think these parry guys are a little tougher. They might have a little bit better de- Morons and he was like dead instantly. Yeah. I don't know why, but I found it really funny. Also, speaking of really funny things, I'm about to <laughs> I'm about to die. Speaking of just hilarious things right now. Yeah, how do you like that? How do you like that turnaround block? I don't know what I know what weapon I want to use eventually, and I'm gonna pick it up in Blight Town. Also, I'm pretty sure because that Six-Eyed Channeler aggroed me, he might buff this guy, but I guess not, so. Don't think you can backstab this guy, he's like too big. He looks pretty intimidating, but, I mean, if you just play it safe and slow. He's, he's, he's pretty safe and slow himself. He's very slow with his attacks, so. As long as you just create some distance, 
get a hit or two. He looks a lot harder than he actually is, so. He's a bit of a tanky boy, but he's also a bit of a dead boy. Steel armor, Titanite shard. Man, I'm having pretty good lucky drops right now to get to Hovel. I guess I'll fight this guy for now and then just kind of figure out what I want to do. I don't know if I'll kill this individual here, but I can try. He likes doing jumpies and stabbies and stuff. These enemies are kind of annoying. They've got pretty good defense. I don't know, like, what's good against them. It usually takes me a while to kill them. They also hit pretty hard. Their hitbox is kind of annoying. Even if you kind of get around them, they can jump up and reposition, as you've seen, like, several times. To get hit by that grab, it's a lot of damage. Uh, apparently his tail has a damage hitbox on it, so you can get slapped by that a little bit. Take damage. Not sure what that attack was, but... There's another reposition. He's next to a wall, so he almost, like, grabbed me anyway. Yeah, he's got he's got some mobility. He's got some mobility. He's got, oh, camera's doing a little 360. Dark Souls camera montage coming to a YouTube channel near you. Plenty of 360 no-scopes. Oh, Damn. <laughs> that was a lot of damage. All right, we go back. It's not even a safety heal at that point. It's just like regular heal. All right, I'm, I'm lucky he probably he didn't damn. Oh, Jesus. His weapon has a really long reach. It can be easy to forget that, I guess. Usually I try to be pretty up close in his face, but that weapon... Definitely got some reach on that bad boy. Sorry, within the next five minutes, one of us will be dead. <laughs> I hope it's him, but... You know, you never know with the way things go sometimes. I kind of like his defensive, like, reposition where he doesn't try to grab you after. I think I knocked him out of it. I'm like stuck on this pillar. This is this is not the best fight, the best place to fight this guy. Right next to a pillar. Yeah, I did. I actually don't know what they're weak to. Maybe they're weak to like blunt. Kind of feels like a stone enemy, so maybe like a mace would crush him up. This guy though. This guy's got like a giant great sword and he fucking slaps very hard. And usually, I would say this Black Knight probably kills me once or twice a run on average. It's, uh... It's pretty easy to die to him. Unfortunately for him, I upgraded my spear a bunch. I would... Oh, shit. He's still got that, like, sick overhand thing. Unfortunately I for him, I did upgrade my spear a bunch, so... I'm a little bit more prepared to deal with him. But this guy hits really hard. He has a huge sword. He has a huge, like, overhand slap that he does. I got his sword and the Titanite chunk, which is great. I probably... There's also some... I don't know what they're called. They have, they have like, a little bit of white on them. Well, there's a blood red. Not good enough. Holy shit, what an attack that was. I can't see anything. Can I get around? round? Thank you. I'm not exactly confident in my ability to uh, kill any of those crystal enemies or the Hydra. It's usually something I do a little bit later. But I'm sure if you're very good at the game, you can do whatever your heart desires. Generally, I'm a little bit more cautious with... That was weird. Generally, I'm a little bit more cautious with who I decide to fight at what times because I'm just not confident in my overall ability to really do much with it and some stuff is just like some stuff's just difficult you know some stuff is definitely intended for most people to come back very of right yeah he's probably just sitting in there yep there he is. he's just like waiting what a bastard all right 
But generally, for me, slow and steady wins the race. I'm um, doing quite a bit more damage than I would have done earlier. I, I know I know a lot of times when I fight Hovel, I do like 13 to 20 damage. And it takes forever. Like, if you fight Hovel really early on, unless you're using, like, a, a nice, good weapon against him, like, it takes forever to kill this idiot, so... And that doesn't even mean that I'm not going to die to him either. Hobbles, he's a bit of a tough guy. He also has, like, really weird tracking sometimes. Like, he, he just won't care about tracking at all. And sometimes it looks like he's going to miss you, but then he'll, like, 360 no-scope you out of nowhere. <laughs> and he'll just connect hits. But I, I usually like killing Hobble early to get his ring. Yeah, there's one of those, like, 360 no-scopes that he does. I'm pretty sure you can parry him, but I'm not the best at parrying, and I know if I mess up the parry, I'm essentially dead, so it's, it's usually good to just for me to kite him around and just try to backstab him. I usually like, I usually like going to his, I guess it's his left, but my right. I feel like with a lot of enemies in the game, there's a certain direction that you can kind of... Oh, that's not good. I feel like there's a certain direction with most enemies you can kind of strafe around them. So if you're having trouble strafing one way, you might want to try strafing the opposite direction. I feel like trying to get... Get around most enemies' shield side is better. So like strafing towards his shield hand, but... Usually a nice, slow, and steady bait it out. Once he tries to attack, make sure you got your shield up. So if he does connect the hit, hopefully the shield will help you. And that's, a, that's about it. If you like parrying, you can probably parry him, but... Don't get hit, I guess. <laughs> don't mess up your parry, otherwise you're probably dead. And that's Hobble, so... Thank you for the ring. I'll put that on fucking immediately, because... Like, someone, someone grinding in Dark Souls or getting the Drake Sword or using the Uchi, like, really doesn't impact me at all, you know? So, like, I, I could not care any less, for the most part, like, what people do with their single-player experience. Even if, even if it's Dark Souls, like... Uh, I try to, like, give people tips and stuff because I know there are inexperienced and new players who do watch my soul stuff sometimes because so I get I get messages about it this guy will not stop trying to parry me I get messages about it where people are like oh yeah you know I used your original playthrough to learn the game and it was like really helpful and all that stuff and uh, I know I still know that there are inexperienced players or new players who haven't quite gotten into the game yet He was, he was about to just shove me right off the cliff. And of course, because he's big and stone, he's kind of resistant, but... Apparently my spear's doing pretty okay damage. Upgrading a weapon is pretty important. Especially early on. If you don't, if you don't upgrade your weapon early on, or if you don't have like a, a, like a really good raw attack weapon... He's another stone idiot. Of course, he gets iframes getting up. He's gonna do his stupid bullshit. Thing is, is that like I can't really get away now, so I kind of have to be careful, try to avoid his attack, or at least just kind of walk around and block. I want to be, I want to be careful and not really attack him because I, I don't want to have like no stamina to deal with anything. So I'd rather just kind of play it safe until the bad times are over. It's weird, man. Some weird enemies in the game. He immediately uses the spell. Okay. Well, I'm going to immediately walk away. How do you like that? Mostly, I just want to make sure that he has no additional enemies with him.
I'm also not sure if you can even parry these enemies. I would I would doubt it. I think Oh man, is he really gonna like? Oh, that sucks. I didn't. I didn't. Oh shit! What is he doing? What was that? It's all right. I killed him. So. I did kill him. Yeah, he he. This enemy will literally just buff. I'm probably gonna pre-pop this and walk into here, get a cutscene. I skipped it. <laughs> I didn't I didn't mean to skip it, but I skipped it. I'm sorry. That's pretty unlike me, I think. Uh, because of how leveled up I am, and I'm using electricity, and I actually upgraded my weapon, it does a lot of damage. I think I think once you get one of the gargoyles to a certain threshold of health, the other one spawns. But also, if you take like too long attacking the gargoyle, oh damn! I kind of hope I die because I kind of deserve it, honestly. But if you take if you take too much time, or if you push one of the gargoyles to a certain health threshold, the second one will spawn. Uh-oh. I was gonna sneak behind you and heal real quick. But also, this boss is uh, weak to the electricity. I'm pretty sure. I don't know what that is. The electricity. <laughs> the one and only electricity. The gold pine resin. Uh, you will do massive damage to them. Anyway, we get to be the ones that ring the bell in the area. This is my bell, and I won't skip this cutscene, unlike the gargoyle cutscene that I skipped. At this point, I'm kind of unimpressed with my own self. If I can put that on the record, I'm a little bit unimpressed with myself right now. <laughs>